Hi, class. Jankowski again from your Cerritos College class on After Effects. This is going to be the part two of <clears throat> doing a simple uh, two-person um, <clears throat> walking sequence on a background. Okay, so we're going to do a new project here and uh, <clears throat> Norgate's going to keep it the Here's a new uh, composition. We're going to keep it the 1920 by 1080, which is standard. And just seven seconds. That's all really I need for this uh, a demonstration of a walking sequence. Okay, so there you go. And that's it. I'm going to pull in the uh, panorama background that I just finished. And let's see, make sure I get the right one. Okay, <clears throat> just drop it in uh, here on this project area. And I'm going to do the two, two figures of the man. Okay, and that's all we're going to do. We're going to do a very simple, uh, uh, sim simplified walking sequence. Okay, as we all know, the walking uh, in any animation is pretty complicated. This is going to be just a, a simple one. <coughs> Okay, here, let's, uh, we have this. Now, the placing of the panorama, though, uh, background is important, how you do it. So I'm going to do small, small uh, size screen, 12.5%. And then I'm going to bring in, okay, first of all, let's take the uh, panorama and bring it in, okay? And um, we're going to do the uh, motion path. Okay, so this is this is pretty important if to do it properly. Otherwise, it's not going to uh, it's not going to run uh, the way we want it for our walking uh, demo or sequence. Okay, so here is the center point of the panorama. Okay, it's actually this entire length. Okay, I'm going to start <coughs> part of it. On the far left. Now remember the walking guy is going to be going from left to right. So you want the panorama to be going from right to left. You want it to be opposite his intended direction of motion. Okay? Now so that we know exactly where this is and this center point's important, I'm going to do command R and that brings up the rulers. I'm going to click on the side here and place this right there okay now we have to we have to deselect uh, from everything uh, this is actually I'm pulling it too far in let me uh, let me adjust this but not too small okay uh, we really don't need a lot of this here I'd like to move this if I can there we go all right, uh, that looks pretty good. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. Uh, let's get the hand tool here. There, perfect. Now, what we're going to do again uh, is going to deselect everything. Everything should be deselected. Go up to the pen tool. All right. And we are going to now go from... Uh, this area over to this area. Okay, so I'm going to move this actually back a little bit. So we're not going to go on over here. We're going to go from the middle over here. All right, so pen tool. Click. I'm going to hold the shift key down so I do a straight line. And I'm going to go here. I'm just guessing about how far uh, I need to go here. And that's hopefully a good guess. Okay, that looks like the middle, so it looks like I'm doing pretty good. Let's go back up here to the selection tool. Now, if you notice, if you use the pen tool, you automatically get this sh uh, shape layer. Okay, so let's open this up, open up contents, and open up shape. So you have, uh, and path. So you get path, path one, shape, and contents. All right, so click here on path which will click all which will include all three of these do command 
C for copy. Uh, you can close this up now. Open this up, transform to position, and do command V. Okay? And if as you see these dotted lines, generally speaking, <laughs> that's a good sign. So hopefully we did this right. I'm going to hit the bar, uh, the space bar, and see if that, yes, that looks pretty good. Okay? That looks pretty good. Okay? So... Two things, obviously, let me return this, the marker here from the, to the beginning. Two things, though, uh, it's going too fast. That's pretty obvious. We have uh, four or five here. Let's make this actually probably a little bit larger. It might go off screen, so you might not see this, but I need to make this a little bit bigger. Okay. There we go. It's off, off screen. But you can see it's up to seven now on the end. That's what I want. So two things to make this run slower. This is the distance that it's currently running. So we want to do a separate these two markers. Okay, so let's hold down the option key and pull this back. Okay, and sometimes it doesn't want to cooperate. So let's, let's press this now again, the space bar. And it's it's pretty good. It's pretty good, and it's a little short. You'll see it's a little a bit white at the end. Uh, maybe we can fix that too. Okay, let's bring this over here, the uh, the time marker. And okay, so we have this here. It's a little bit off. I'm going to make this larger right now. Uh, let's do twenty five. Good. <clears throat> I'm going to move this up. See that? So there's no white on the top. Now, what happens is usually that kind of messes up. Uh, it, it just usually isn't a bow, but it looks actually pretty good here. So maybe that was okay. Let's see. That's looking good, actually. I don't see any white on the top or, or the bottom. Okay. Usually you can't just grab it anywhere and, and move it, but uh, apparently I grabbed it at the right place. Okay, so here we go. Uh, let's let's place this in uh, order, and let's go now to one more thing that we can do, and that's layer, time, and time stretch. Now, <clears throat> to make it even go slower, Let's put in another number here, uh, 300, 400, 500, something like that. I'm going to put in 500 to really slow it down. Okay. Now, hit the space bar. Much slower, much slower, much slower. And the thing is now it doesn't have any white on the end and it's just going to keep looping. I like this, so I want to I want to keep this. Maybe I'll change it later when I put the guy in here. Uh, maybe I'll change it to four or four fifty. But right now this seems this seems good. And you know what? I'm going to stop here and actually do this in three segments. I'm going to do one last one, and that will be putting the uh, animating the the guy in here. Okay, and I'm just going to start it right now. Let's do fifty percent. Oops. Okay, get the hand here. Okay, so we have 50%. That looks good. Now, up here you have the the legs. I, I have this here. I have this by legs, closed legs open, because that's really what is important. When you want a, a walking sequence with just two figures, uh, they have to be have a wide stride. In other words, their legs have to be far apart and then one where they are uh, together. So let's pull these down here and just get a look at them. And there they are, right on top of each other. Now, this shape layer here, we don't need it. So delete. We don't need it anymore. 
Okay, let's do this a little uh, um, larger. I wish they had 75%, they don't. So here's 100. And the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get these two guys to line up perfectly. This is important. Otherwise he's going to be kind of, the motion's gonna be kind of jerky. So let's get him exactly on top of the other one. Okay, so you're gonna have one guy and then you're gonna have the other guy. Oops, click the wrong thing. Click the background. One guy, and then here's the other. Okay, that's it for this one. Let me go <clears throat> to number three, and that will be actually animating the, the guy walking in this background. All right, and that is it. See you for part three.